Yo, what up you guys? Welcome to another episode of The Sit Down. Today I am here with two special guests. One flew in from out of state, and then the other one is none other than Andre Droig Rucker. All right, and uh, we got Jack Bravo. Yes. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Uh, I guess I should introduce what I do. Yeah, I of course, yeah. Um, I'm a member of Dragon House, one of the least known members. And uh, I also work on a comic book called Wags the Warrior of Truth, a Christian-based comic book, so I'm an artist. I've been an artist for a long time. Uh, I don't know, what else y'all wanna That's know? Cool. How long you been in DH? <sighs> Man, more than 10 years. Dang. Yeah, so like has you it, were there like right at the start. I was, like, but right I wasn't. After the start. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of a funny story to that. I don't know how, how much you want to get into it. No, but God. remember when you guys, you um, y'all had the group Remote Control, and I was doing the sounds for Remote Control. You remember that? Oh um, yeah, yeah, I do remember that. I, I made the Remote Control remote, sound, yeah. and so I started making beats for you guys. I don't know if y'all used it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we made some beats. We did some of that, and then I was like affiliated, so I went to some of the um, some of you guys' performances, things like that. Yeah. And we always used to dance at these things called secret ciphers. You remember oh, that? Yep. Yep. The secret ciphers. So cyphers, we would yeah. go and we would dance, and it was the most <laughs> it's the most ghetto thing we used to do. <laughs> we used to go and we would just randomly be at a um, a Walmart parking lot yeah. in the middle of the night, and we would just turn on music and dance. And then we yeah, start. We call real. it Secret Cyphers, and it's a long story about how we met. But that's yeah. Yeah, the Secret Cyphers came after that. And me, you, Julius, a guy named Boogie Links. Oh, Boogie Links. Yeah, yeah man. I think he's in the military now. Shout out yeah. Boogie Links. Yep. I, I still talk to him. He's a good guy. Yeah, really good guy. Dope. And we got none other than Droid right here. Up, Go ahead and up? introduce yourself, man. Let them know who you are and what you do, man. Whatever name Droid. Pretty much just dance. Go to work. <laughs> You know what to do? You try to act like you're boring. <laughs> I, I just go to work, get home, practice. He is the most my out of out of the DH. Yeah. He's my favorite dancer. Yeah, he's super I know fire. That's going to sound like a diss to everybody else. He's my he's the in my opinion he's the most creative dragon. House oh player. yeah, oh, appreciate yeah. that, y'all. Appreciate. Yeah, it. he's the most creative, most alien looking one. Oh yeah, man, the stuff that you think of and construct with your brain is. Ugh. Super crazy, man. It make you mad to watch him dance because you be like, I didn't even think. <laughs> Why did I think of that? And it don't be like, it don't be like bone breaking. You where you see like the bone breaks, they kind of do some stuff where it contorting your body. Yeah, yeah. Where some, it's not really he does some yeah. of that, but mostly it's just stuff you haven't thought of. Yeah, dude, he just go around his head and do something. You like what? <laughs> where did this come from? It's crazy. I Dang. didn't shoot. That's not started, but I pretty much took it serious from seeing Keith. Yeah, that's true. If it was if it weren't for him, yeah. I wouldn't even been dancing. Uh, I would have yeah, been stopped. Yeah. <laughs> man, well, respect, love, man, ben love. Stop. So, um, let's talk about the first topic we have is, um, it's basically another shot at TikTok. Um, it's basically saying TikTok versus the, the competitive world and what are the differences and is the competitive world needed in the TikTok world? What do you guys think about that? So basically what you're getting at is a lot of people don't go to competitions because they're already famous on TikTok and social media. Yeah, do you think, do they think, um, do you think that they need competitions in order to learn the core, like the core information about the dance? Or do you think just because they made it on TikTok, they can just have their lane on TikTok and do whatever they want with our dance? You see what I'm saying? <laughs> He's like, I claim this dance, it is mine. Yeah. Like, <laughs> well, here's the, the thing that dancers know, but other people don't know. Like, regular civilians, people who don't dance, yeah. they can the watch somebody. Eye. Like, yeah. I've even had some of my friends point out, and they don't even know when people do the slow down thing on TikTok. They think that's body control. I'm like, yeah, no, you see yeah. people do this. And you like, He's slowing that music down and speeding it up. And some people slow, don't even yeah. know when that's going on. The, wow. the, and so. A, re a real dancer can see that. You can see it automatically. So it's, yeah. it comes down to when the when a lot of these TikTokers and these people that are on social media get social media famous, real dancers know that they don't have the skill because they know that they just did choreography and it might have took them 100 takes and they just did, took the right take out of 100. Yeah. But a well. real dancer will look and be like, if he came to a competition, would he be able to do that on the spot? Yeah. And that's a whole different level of skill because anybody can do 
you know, a, a choreography. I do this, and then I do this, and then I do this, and then I do. We can all practice that forever, but it's when yeah. you have to make it up on the spot and do some freestyle and do some um, moves to the music yep. that you don't have, you that you haven't heard. That shows a different level of skill. Yeah, that foundation is gonna have to be there if you don't know the music and you don't have a chance to rehearse. You gotta just rely on core skill at that point mm -hmm. and foundation really. Punchlines are gonna come, but if you're in a battle, that's not gonna win you the round. A lot of people are getting cocky with the social media too. It's because they haven't battled, they use that as an excuse to never have to battle. They'll yeah. say, well, I got a 16,000 million views, so therefore I don't have to prove myself to you. But the reality yeah. is part of it is fear because they know I can do a little TikTok cute dance in my room mm -hmm. and I don't really have to prove my skill. I can just say, validate myself by how many followers I have. Yeah. But the real dance world before social media even came about, we were battling and you couldn't mess up. Like, yeah. you can't go in. It's a strike against you. Right. Yeah. You can't go in with some lackluster rounds and say, well, if you don't like what I did here, look at my video on TikTok. <laughs> it don't work like yeah, that. Yeah, it definitely doesn't, man. And do you think there's a way that the dance community community can not necessarily take back, but like, I guess take back the dance culture as it's where it's evolving to? What would the dance? What would the OG dance community have to do in order to to come up in the world? <laughs> you you are not gonna over. like my answer to this, but I've I've thought about this a lot. And what we need to get back to is we've got very what's the word that's not that's not gonna offend people. We've got very soft yeah. in our society now, so people don't want to offend each other. They rather make friends. They rather let people steal their moves and oh, do yeah. stuff like that <laughs> and make that. friends with them, right? Yeah. The problem is, is that you need more of that battle mentality. Yeah. The battle mentality that we used to have growing up. And I would tell you right now, I'm not the best dancer ever, but I still had the battle mentality of you're not going to beat me. And yeah. I don't care if you think you're the best. I'm coming to a certain spot. When you meet there, we have to battle. Yeah. They don't have that anymore. And that mentality is what makes you have to prove yourself. So I think a lot of the OGs, a lot of the people that think they have the skill to be the best need to start calling out people more, not just on social media saying, I'm better than you, but let's meet here and let the crowd decide. Yeah. Even if it's a social media crowd. Because it's, it's like, there, it's not street dancing. Anymore. Yeah. I think that's where a, a lot of it is getting misconstrued, where it's where I came from, it was a street dance. You know Absolutely. what I mean? Like I started basically in the street yeah. dancing from my house to the gas station yeah. and back to get a mucho mango. <laughs> you dance for 17 cent an hour. Hey, yeah. So I was literally a street dancer, you know what I mean? So now that people don't have to be in the actual streets dancing, they can take it to a platform and get a million, two million yeah. views. Like, how do we get that core back to the dance? Is what I'm saying. What do you Honestly, think, Joy? Uh, you think it's possible or you think it's like a lost cause? We might as well forget about it. Uh, we lost this war. I think one thing that'll help, I think if you start, I think for the people that do battle, I think if you start recording your battles and putting like segments of your battle on TikTok, mm -hmm. maybe that encourage the other TikTok dancers to do that too. Like, I mean, because time, I was muting the TV. <laughs> I think if we, I think for the people that do battle, if they took clips of their battles and put them on TikTok, it'll make uh. the other dancers on TikTok It'll force them to enter a comp to have those type of clips. So if you yeah. sub, you on TikTok and you see somebody battle and it's getting a lot of views, they're going to be like, man, I should enter a competition so I can get the footage put on TikTok. That's not really the re reason you should battle is to yeah, get TikTok yeah. clips. But hey, <laughs> if, that, if that's what it takes, then... But I those mean, clips are out there too. Just a lot of them, a lot of the market is not saturated with those type of clips. So what the, what the, um, the ordinary user is seeing is the I'm just gonna say it like the um watered down version of yeah. dance that is pretty much taken over. Yeah. So like how <laughs> I don't know, like I don't know if you can defeat it that way because the reality is they're already getting millions of views without doing that. Exactly. And they doing less work and getting more profit from it. So a guy will go through a competition and he might not make it to the top eight, but he's in the top sixteen, but he had a really fire round. People still just gonna get more views on the finals. 
you know yeah. like yeah. it's hard to decipher how to get it that way i just do i do think the best thing that this culture can do is the call outs i think if you have people calling each other out saying hey man you do tiktok videos but i bet you can't beat me in a battle i bet you can't yeah. do this and actually be serious not just but that person is not going to accept that you know what i mean that person's going to be like oh yeah i know i would lose that they're gonna <laughs> they're gonna go to your page they're gonna look at how you yeah, dance and they're gonna yeah. see that compared to their own so they're gonna be like oh no i'm not doing that that's gonna be bad for my career yeah you know what i mean so yeah. i guess it's a double-edged sword really it's like yeah we're glad this platform is here to give the dancers the opportunity mm -hmm. to make a living off of dance but at the same time it's really taking away from the actual art and skill right. of the dance culture so i guess we gotta just accept the times that are evolving and then try to think about the next thing to get it back to where we where we came from but the thing is is like when youtube came out that didn't take away from battling it you just you just put the battles on youtube the problem is nobody's putting battles on tiktok because the retention that? is so low the retention is like so, yeah. 30 seconds uh-huh now I mean, now you can put i think you get whole like whole videos on tiktok no no the, the, the retention is like so how say, much people will be are you talking yeah. about the attention span when how, yeah, how yeah. fast they're going yeah they're gonna look at this and i'm like okay 15 30 seconds in they're gonna go to the next video mm -hmm. so they're not gonna sit there and watch like the the, the, the retention means that well, how long somebody's sitting watching one particular thing <laughs> yeah. well, i guess you can't put like a whole battle on there but if you just put the it's highlight the moments yeah. a highlight reel yeah, the highlight all, reel yeah. of the competitions it'll get the people who on tiktok wanting to actually come to the competition because you have to get the comps you have to find a way to put the comps on whatever the newest platform is to keep it alive mm -hmm. like it was on youtube everybody's seen now it's tiktok's out you gotta find a way to put the comps on tiktok or comps yeah. don't die but most people don't think to put comps, comp battles, and comp rounds on TikTok. Yeah, because if what's dangerous is if every oh, generation, man. every generation passes the torch, and what's what keeps a dance style alive is competitions. Yeah. Other than competitions, yeah. what else is a dancer mm -hmm. back in the day gonna do? That's how things get watered down, actually, because yeah, somebody funny. doesn't really meet anybody with the foundation or who's close to the structure of the dance, and they just go off of what they see, and then they do a little video that all their friends like and they say oh yeah must be a good dancer they haven't really met anybody to teach them foundation or what it is to actually yeah. for instance popping it's a lot of people that do popping moves but don't even know what a hit is or they don't know what a dime stop is. you yeah. know they don't know any of those concepts but they know i seen keys do this and then this and they think that you know and they just try to move like a robot without knowing that there's what a, a foundation hit to those movements there's yeah. a difference between bopping hitting all the all these different things yeah. gliding sliding all that stuff a human being a robot and a robot being a human right. is two different things yeah like uh, i think if i'm not mistaken a robot being a human would be <laughs> like you see that <laughs> now reverse that and Try to think of a human trying to be a robot, it would be more. And a lot of people don't know that. They don't know the difference between the two types of robots. Mm -hmm. So, like, that just goes to show you how much of a lack of understanding for the culture a lot of people do have yeah. in the industry. You know what I mean? So, but it is what it is. Like, times are evolving and we gotta understand that and we have to adapt. You know what I mean? Because, like, if you don't adapt, you're gonna get left behind anyway and mm -hmm. not gonna be able to do anything to help the culture in the future. So, a lot of people need to step up and like really start putting out content and showing that there's another side to dance and not just what's going on in today's market. What we got next, man? Oh, gee. Well, kind of went into each other lacking the knowledge of foundation. Okay, what was the next one? <laughs> what we used to talk about. <laughs> no, that's all Social media versus competition. <laughs> Then I told, I told you, you we needed more. No, I no. told you. <laughs> so put this on no, me. I said the, the, the topic will just bleed into each other. I said. That. I know, but I said we need more topics. No, All right. no, baby, well, no, no, no. It's about to get it. spicy. Then go ahead. You uh -oh. pick the next cop. Right. Uh -oh. Dragon Wards. <laughs> That's what I've been wanting to talk about. You should have a left it up to him. You should yeah. have left it up to him. All I'm right. gonna get spicy. Don't talk to me. No. Okay, Dragon Wards. Okay, so let me uh let you guys know. So. Right now, um, Saturday is Shut Up and Dance. Um, by the time you see this, that event will have already happened. So 
Now we're starting to plan the next event and we're thinking about doing Dragon Wars, which means if you're not familiar with it, every member in Dragon House battles another member in Dragon House. So like the battles are gonna be so high level, it's gonna be crazy. You know what I mean? But we're still working out the um the parameters on that. So So who you wanna battle, Keys? <sighs> <laughs> who would I battle? I mean, I know what the topic is, but I don't think he really, it's got to be somebody with stripes. Like if you don't, if you're still wearing regular dungarees, you can't, you can't battle me. What is he talking about? That's a military term. Like if you got on dungarees and you only got one little stripe right here. Stop you, being aloof about it. You can't battle me. You don't have enough stripes yet. Oh, that's what you that's what you're getting at, you know what I mean? Because there's been a lot of things that have been said. Uh-oh. Um now let's talk about this what though. This, this is done? um this is um this is a real real man. Let me <laughs> <laughs> speak to the goddamn mic. Um so don't get too spicy. I just wanna okay. Well, here, let me let me set the tone. Okay, because a lot of people don't know what we were getting at. Yeah, we have in Dragon House, we have OG dragons, dragons who have been there for ten years. Myself, who is not well known, we got Keith, we got Julius, I glide, um, Chibi, got Droid. Droid, Blueprint. They we've been dragons and we've been friends for darn near more than ten years, right? Yeah. yeah so we we've, we've been in this crew and we've now we got which is I think is very smart. A new generation of dragons who've come up and they're all fired. They've been hand selected by the group, right? Yeah. Their styles emulate what we've already done, which is a robotic in nature, being able to do some of the elements that we consider uh, fundamentals of our style, which is animation. Um, and they, they're all fired, but some of them, they come in and they coming in a little bit hot. They coming in hot. They they're, calling out some of the old dragons, and they and they think not only are they going to carry the torch, but they think they're going to burn you with that torch. Yeah, boy. like okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> what a lot of people really got to understand is that, like, even myself have to have to pay homage to the previous era. That's that's real talk. You know what I mean? I didn't just like I didn't meet Flat Top. I didn't meet Mr. Animation. I didn't meet Chuko. I didn't meet Wavel. I didn't meet Boardman Sam. and go to them and say. I want your spot. I'm taking it. Now I'm board man. <laughs> but that now does this I'm contrast with what we were saying before because here's the thing. We want to keep the battle culture alive and we know that but, the young people are going to but, come do that. But how yes. Do we, what, how oh, should you're they saying do how? It? Yeah. Okay. The number one thing that has to, and this goes with anything in life. Like if, if you don't have the respect on the table from the jump, how do you expect to get to the next level? You're just gonna run over who paved the way for you? No, you gotta pay your dues I first. I do think that. And I think like, as far as when I say the culture right now is soft, there's also another thing going on. They don't have respect at all. Like we talk, like yeah, in church, you talk about respect for your elders and all that. Yeah. They don't have respect for the people who committed, who do, who have done the work to create the foundation of the art that we do. Yeah. So oftentimes, even then, I've brought up people like Mr. Wiggles, who is fire in my opinion. One Shout of the out most, Mr. Wiggles. In fact, yes, he's sir. inspired every one of us here. Yes. But if you bring him up to a lot of the younger people, that who is that guy? He he's he's this he's that. Yeah. Dude. The man start, if it wasn't for him, you wouldn't be doing a lot of stuff you do. Exactly. You have, even, like, say the man is gets old and he's in his 70s and he can no longer dance. If he comes to a competition, you better show him some respect. Yeah. Because the reality is, if it was not for him, you would not be there. And and I, I just don't understand this lack of respect that some of the younger people Maybe they have. just don't know. But they should know, because I here's mean, the thing. They don't have nobody to... Not knowing is a lack of respect, too. Because for me, like, say I study oh. the Bible or the scriptures, right? Yeah. I can't be like, oh, well, I'm coming into church and I'm going to tell the pastor that he's not important. If I, if the more but I study. But you know study, why? It's because you were brought up in the church. That's true. Like, a lot of these dancers weren't brought up in dance. I think that's the misconnect right what there. What are they brought up in, they, then? They, okay, so, like. TikTok? Yes, bro. Okay. They just got in the scene. <laughs> i be right. Because, like. Think about it. When we came up, we were at comps. Yeah. We met these OGs. We we came up. We know these people were in what we were trying to do. Now, it's gotten to the point where people can just jump in the game. 
That's true. They don't you gotta to meet people. Or they don't gotta prove themselves. So now they think, oh, I, this is what I do and this is it. <laughs> as as opposed to knowing where the shit came from. Yeah. Knowing that I used to buy Mr. Wiggles VHS yeah, tape. Yeah, me too. <laughs> multiple of them, and you probably don't even know who Mr. Wiggles is, and that's crazy to me. So I think it's come down to respect, bro. Like, yeah. and if you don't know, do your do your research. <laughs> yeah, I almost cussed. <laughs> and this is what I'll say, and I really mean this with sincerity. Yeah. The younger dragons and the younger. I want to hear his talk on that too. Yeah, yeah because you you still young too, but he's just because yeah. you've been in the game for a while. Here's the thing. I like the fire that they have. When I say that the culture is soft, I really mean that. And I think that that battle and that competitive spirit is absolutely needed. Oh, yeah. But it's the way that the ones who are competitive go about it that I don't like. You can ask somebody for a battle without dissing them. Yeah, yeah. You know, you don't have to go and be like, you suck. You trash. You washed up. You ugly and your mama ugly and I want a battle. Yeah, yeah. That's not, that's <laughs> you not know beneficial. What it is? Like, if, when you want to, like, what a battle is, is an exchange of information right so by him saying he wants to battle me is in turn saying i want to learn from you right or like, i respect you but he didn't have that that well that we can take it off of him specifically but, yeah but you i'm know, saying yeah, yeah. We can say it's a broad statement it, because there's a bunch but, of them that do this yeah. matter of fact when we set up shut up and dance we reach out to a lot of people and they all want to battle you and the thing that i don't like about that necessarily is some of them we're trying to give them a platform so we exactly. say, we say, hey, you a little dude now. Not no disrespect. When we reach out to them, because me and him throw shut up and dance. We've done this for ten years. Yeah. <clears throat> um, and we go and we say, hey, you a little dude. We got a platform. We still think you fire. We want to give you a platform to battle some dude. I only want to battle if I want to. If I get the battle keys. Oh my god. Well, why would you say that when we already trying to help you out? We'll yeah. even pay you. We even try to get people ac accommodations, all that. Yeah. But they only want to battle if they can b battle the biggest name they ever yeah, known. See, that, they don't deserve going about that, that name. The wrong way. Like, and you know what? Shout out to Slavic too. I know um, Slavic and Glad got some shit going on, but uh -oh. shout out to Slavic because <laughs> you went all the smoke. And fiction. Shout out Slavic and fiction. Um, because you want to really lean we in. Did, we did a video. No, for real, we did a video with Slavic before Slavic was Slavic. Mm -hmm. And there was no, like, oh, I want to fire you up. There was no, like, oh, I'm about to yeah, freaking make right. you look bad or nothing. Because he was fired back then, too. Yeah. But he looked at it as an opportunity to learn and to see and to just collaborate. He and leaned on you for information. Exactly. It's an information and idea, too. I'm like, okay, let me see what Fiction going to do right here. Mm -hmm. Let me see what he going to do. And I, I, I do class with anybody, no matter what you're laughing about. Right. Yeah. Why? <laughs> but... But for real, for real, they just got to learn how to, like, take the damn ego out of the situation. Yeah, absolutely. And understand that you can always learn something. Yeah. And from then anyone. you can make a friend and there'll be a shoulder to lean on. Yeah, exactly. A shoulder to... <laughs> <laughs> a shoulder to lean on. Shout out Iglad, though. What's up, man? <laughs> <laughs> I wish Glide was here so you he could talk to him. I know. Glide I know. is a professional crap talker, man. Yes, he is. I wish he, he was here. He would break down all the schematics. <laughs> <laughs> you fool. If you uh, carry the one, you'd be like, what the heck? No, I'm going to hear your take on it, though. Go Where's ahead. Shabby? Where, where we at? Um, <laughs> we at the, um, the younger, the dancers, the younger yeah, generation. The younger generation, generation not being able to give respect when respect is due to the people that paved the way for them. What do you think about that? I think I think you're like right on the edge mm -hmm. of understanding both sides. Mm. Cuz you know what punchlines are. Yeah, yeah. I don't really understand what a punch to me that's just a damn move you're doing. I got a question when, to when ask him dancing. in a second too. Okay. It's going to piss you off. So you so my bad. <laughs> <laughs> he says that a question again. You see asked me what why is okay. the... what do you think the reason Okay that the um the dancers don't know or respect the previous era that paved the way for where they are now uh i think the dancers that do that weren't inspired by the previous era ogs i like inspired the, though yeah but to what extent i think he started dancing because of me so like he's you? like no like the crew members so don't get me misconstrued or nothing like i'm not disrespecting or nothing like he literally 
watches my videos more than I do. Well, I think you know what uh, I mean. So he, he pretty much studied me, so it makes sense that he's coming for me now. Like, like that's how it goes. You all, like Mike Watson, for example. I used to chase Mike Watson down. Yeah, so you should understand a little so bit. I, I do understand where he's coming from, but I never disrespected Mike. And that's where a the lot of this is. too. The the audience won't know because it's going on on our private page. No, but they know so, now. I mean, yeah. But this is not. But this, I think where this mainly. Hold on, let me say this real quick. This is not a um a like. This. Dragon House only issue. This goes with life. Yeah, you know what I mean. This is a life lesson right here. It's not just because about dance. That can go for a work situation. Yeah, you could be at work and like, oh, you making how much an hour? Twenty two, and I'm making sixteen. I want your spot, and you start disrespecting your boss. No, it don't work like. It don't work that way. <laughs> you not saying, saying you the boss. I am the damn boss. <laughs> I'm fucking Goku. Hello. <laughs> oh my. But. God. Not like that, because I don't, I don't try to lead in that manner anyway. Well, I want to hear Joy's take on yeah. it, because he's trying to act like he's not going to say it. I think where that come from, I think it's to a point where if the people who you inspire start to feel like they've surpassed you, they, if they get to the point where you feel like you surpassed your OGs, you probably won't say nothing, but then a conversation comes up where it's like, who will win between you and that person? And mm -hmm. you'll be like, I can beat that person. And then somebody, somebody might be like, no, you're not messing with that OG, you can't beat him yet, and boom, that's how it spark off. So it's like now I want to prove it. Now I want to call him out and beat him in front of everybody <laughs> to show him that I'm better. To show him better than him. Yeah, to to prove a point. Yeah, to prove a point. Huh? When we gave him the point to prove in the first place. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, here's the thing, dude. Do you know I think saying? it's beneficial for those battles to happen? Oh yeah. It, 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 My it. only problem is the lack of respect coming from the the younger crowd to the ogs and even in our generation you know mid 30s late 30s you still have a certain amount of respect we really frown on somebody if we were to go to comp with bob and andre exactly. mad chad you know mr wiggles flat top you go and they were all there and a young dude called them out we would be pissed out pissed off at him we would say, dude, you don't call out an OG like that. That dude put in so much work. Yeah, that's so, happened recently. I know, but we what that happened? that Fiction. that have it's, it's a couple battles. Yeah, I think he called out who flat top. He need that's that's unacceptable Fiction because you're out calling out a dude. No, I mean I don't. I'm, who's darn I don't want to be in state in the room. But I think it was flat. You know? I think I think uh, how recent was this? I mean, it went to maybe a year or two ago. I think, oh, I think, I think I Fiction was I think, in, I I think he was in a comp. Yeah, think, that's what happened. He you thought, should do said, that. He thought that uh, Fick, uh, Flat Top judged him wrong or something yeah, like that. See, that's stupid called, to me. No, no, that's that's acceptable, though. I don't that's like only that, accept, man. It's only acceptable because Flat Top was a judge. Yeah. That's part of the culture. That's true. If you feel like you were misjudged in a battle... It don't matter who it is. It don't matter <laughs> at that point. But if he's just on the sideline chilling... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cyber got wrong. I have to see the battle. No, he was a judge, bro. I know. I get what you're saying. So, like, that's that's completely fair game. You think so? Yes. Yeah. It's fair game. If you're a judge, like, so no this uh, fiction or flat top, but if you're a judge on the panel and then you have a problem or a, a bone to pick with the judge, you can call him out. Okay. If you don't like um, the way he... I know that's a thing. You. I just thought that if you got, a like, a double OG, like, somebody who's, like, darn near 60, 50 years old... Yeah. Do you really want them battling a twenty-year-old kid? That's just that's, to prove that at that point. At that point, it's it's a self thing. At that point, so I understand. Cut. Can we beat the latest one? That'll be a good one because nobody's really seen that battle. All right. So the next topic uh, we're gonna talk about is: Is it too late to blow up? Um. Do you think? There's a, a certain range in your career to where if you miss this mark, you might as well get a job and forget about dance. I think it, I mean, nothing's set in stone. But I think around 35, oof, around that, around 35, you, you, you need to start really thinking about what you're doing. Is that, uh, around like, if you're 35 and you, you feel like you're on the premise of blowing up, obviously you should keep going. But if yeah. you're not really nowhere by 35, uh, I'm not, I mean, I don't want to just say it's never too late and that ain't necessarily true. <laughs> Dance is extremely physical. Mm -hmm. After 35, you might want to start considering something else. That's just my opinion. I would, I would say 
Mind you, I blew up at 30. But at 30, you were extremely hot. You was buzzing right before then. So you had reason to keep going. If you're not okay. like if you're not at a crazy buzz in your thirties and you still trying to come up in your thirties, that's different from where you was at. You okay. also lived off of one McDonald's hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> one McDonald's I ate two cheeseburgers a week, <laughs> taking five dollars to live and a two week. cold coffees. <laughs> um, I don't know how you do. No, it. I, I I disagree because I think it could be any video, and it doesn't necessarily have to be super technical. But now, if you look at today's market, like you can do a simple arm wave that can go viral. I disagree, man. Yeah, but this is the thing, Keith. You got to 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 even go viral. You already got to have your platform at a certain point. Like you can't like what I mean is you got to have enough support for it to launch. You know what I mean? Yeah. You got to have like oil in the pan. Yeah. A little bit of fire. That way yeah. it's like any minute now because it's boiling. Yeah. But if it's not boiling... Well, one thing that you told me, like, way back in the day, and it stuck with me because we was in, like, I forgot if we was arguing or debating, but you had mentioned something, and you said, you said, I dance to live, but you dance to escape life. What? Yep, you told me that. This is, like, way when I used to live in the NGA. I and said, I dance to live? Yes. You was like, <sighs> I live dance, but you dance to escape life. And when I heard that, oh I was angry because I was like, man, I dance, I, I dance for life, too. I'm a little, you know, I'm a dancer, man. I'll dance. I'll be out there on the competition. But the reality is, the older I got, you was right. Yeah. And the right, the, the thing that you had that was right was I dance to escape life. That's what I do. I don't use it as a tool to, to uh, get money or yeah. for my family to depend on me. I throw these competitions because I love dance. And it's yeah. always been escape. I got a very stressful job. After work, I'll just laugh sometimes to de-stress de myself. When I yeah. go into a dance mentality, it's a de-stress, calm, fun mentality. Mm. It's a difference than what you're talking about of people trying to make it to live. That means if you don't go viral, you don't eat. Yeah. And most people ain't going to do that, man. Like Most people, just the, the harsh reality is what you had and what you had was not planned. Yeah. You know, you you worked hard for it, yeah. Yeah. But for to say it would be a lie to tell people that, yeah, you can do it too. Most people won't. Yeah, yeah. maybe most people need to know what you went through. Yes. <laughs> because <laughs> here goes is, the backstory that you don't want to talk this about. Is, oh, I ahead. was buying you two dollar mucho mangoes <laughs> at the hospital so you could have something to drink that day. We was yeah, driving everywhere. Man, we bro, would we would meet at the hospital. I, I, what did I say? Hospital? Yeah. At the gas station. Oh, <laughs> I was buying you hot burgers at the hospital. <laughs> I was on my chest thing. I was like, one cheeseburger. We got keep me you up. alive at the hospital so you can dance. He didn't dance himself in the emergency room. He was in the coma. <laughs> that one double cheese got me back on my feet. That move was his last. Dang. Yeah, that's what a lot of like, that's what I feel like a lot of people should know, man. Because they, they gonna see your move. success and they thinking, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Y'all, they, they don't have no easy. idea. How many videos did you take that you didn't even upload? You know, oh, how yeah. many? All the and just times. them not knowing how much you dance. Yes. Like, you got the name nonstop <laughs> for a reason, bro. Like, um, how many times have you kicked out of so-and-so? Bro, we were yeah. ready to leave the club. We like, he's still yeah. over there That's dancing. That's how he got the name nonstop. Yeah. When, I, when I met you at MJQ, when I first moved to Georgia, you was nonstop dancing all night. Like, no stop. It's not too many people with that mentality. Yeah. Like... I'm talking about we was at the club from what 9 30 to 3 got there early yeah to get yeah. in free because we had no money <laughs> yeah, no money back then we got money now well uh, some of us do yeah we got and now, and now the thing is now that you made it it's oftentimes people would just look at the state you were you're, you're that you're in. already in as versus what you have to do to get there right now okay so now with that being said do you think if people apply that same pressure that I've applied, that I still apply to this day, can they still make it? That's what I'm getting I at. I think possibility like, and probability are two different things. But I think no. what it really boils down to is the love you got for it. Like I don't yeah, care how yeah, I don't care know. how strong somebody's work ethic is. If you if you're up against somebody who love it and somebody who just got a strong work ethic, the one who love it gonna win because yeah. this ain't even work for him. Yeah, so if you got both. <laughs> 
Yeah, you can, but... I don't know, because... The, I think you can, bro. It's just a matter of how you approach it. You can, but oftentimes people don't realize you could be the best dancer in the world and still not make it. Oh, no. And the thing about no, it get, is, yeah. to me, in my opinion, the way that I show my love for something mm -hmm. is how much I will invest in things I don't like to do to do what I do want to do. Yeah. So if I work a job, whether I'm working at a factory, I can't. A lot, oftentimes people are like, I'm going to quit my factory job so I can dance full time. <laughs> if you really love dance and you really want to travel, you will work that job you hate to support the thing you do want to do. Mm. Because I don't think, I think as a grown man, you have to take responsibility. Oh, yeah, you definitely. You can't you just be like, I want to dance all day and somebody else support me. That's yeah, not no, how life you, works. You definitely can't do that all your life. But I definitely walked out on jobs for dance yeah. numerous times. But also, I was winning comps to support myself back then. You had then. to win a comp every week. Yeah. And I was I was making clothes. I was selling clothes. I sold that stuff at one time. Um, <laughs> <laughs> cheesecake. That's yeah. I was selling cheesecake <laughs> out the pocket back then. But it's just like, you gotta, you really got to figure out how you want it. And you, if you're going to make it, you can't just half-ass it. You know what I mean? You got to make all the right moves at the right time, and you got to be on it. You know what I mean? Like, Because I don't think it's ever too late. Like, I, I blew up at 30. So imagine if you're 35, well, that still gives you 10 years, right? If but I blew remember, up at 35 and was dancing. I don't know about that. Yeah. But remember, you gotta be, I thought like you got to be at a certain point at 35. Right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm not, I'm not talking about the people who are just starting. No, no, if you just starting dance at 35, no. No, I'm not saying even, I'm not even saying just starting, but if you ain't got a certain amount of following or buzz by 35, I like you have to you have agree, to be man. at a certain point at that age so that you can have the chance to go. You, you mm -hmm. cuz if you like right, let's say let's say somebody's 30 35 and they got like 5k on Instagram, they got like mm -hmm. 2000 subscribers on YouTube. That's not enough. By that time, there's a point he should have been at. I don't think so, man. <laughs> I don't. Yes, I don't. Yes, because yes, blow up out of nowhere. Okay, so watch this example. So I blew up, what, 10, roughly 10, 11 years ago? I know and believe that I'm going to do that again. Because history repeats itself. I'm going to do that again. It may take five years. It may take 10 years. But it's going to happen again. Mark my words right now. So the person that's right here, right now, still has that time. But you know why you can have it can happen again for you? It's already, already, had, already viral had a following. Like twenty times. You already got the follow. It's just honestly for you. Yeah. It's just you just gotta hit the right click. One of your one of your videos has more views in a small country. <laughs> so it's not hard to say that you can't engage. You already that crowd you again. already did the hard work. You got the following. You got the if platform. you really want to just gotta it. you just gotta hit the right clip on the mm -hmm. right song and promote it the right way. Yeah, it can happen. But I'm talking about for somebody who ain't who ain't got that type of backing. There's a certain amount of work he got to do before he can even have a chance to take off. Yes, but if you have the talent, like you said, all it takes is that right clip at the right yeah, time. It, the it right... don't matter how good the clip is if nobody ain't going to see it. That's what I'm saying. All it takes is one person to see it. Here's the other thing, too, that you're not taking into account. The oversaturation of the dance that we do. Oh, yeah. Here's the, the game has so, changed right yeah, now. Yeah, because you, you got to remember, when you dance to dubstep, not only was dubstep new, but your type of dance was also new. The combination, and here's another thing that. All right, y'all, y'all just not gonna make it, bro. Here's the other. Y'all ain't gonna make it. That, that, ain't, that ain't what I'm saying. I'm not <laughs> saying no, that. Am I speaking facts or am I not? Dubstep yeah. was fairly yeah. new. The type of dance that you did was fairly new. And guess what? You brought in two audiences that never met each other. Uh, Ooh, I didn't think about that. You brought in a dubstep audience, the UK, the underground grime music, all yeah. that stuff that never, and then. They never have been. They never were accustomed to a dance style going with that. So yeah. not only were they looking for music and viral music videos, but to see a dancer dance and hit all those beats, they were sharing it like crazy because yeah. it was brand new. It's so, not brand new so anymore. So what happens when the new genre of music comes out? Then you might have a chance, but not for no thirty-five year old. He has but even then less again, of a I chance. Is, I'm forty right now. You are, but you already blew up. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? I can still dance. Who said you couldn't? <laughs> that's, what, that's what you're saying. You're saying another person. I'm not talking about myself. I'm talking about another person at my age that can still dance. Right. When that new music comes out, what they the, have an Their best bet is following not what you did, but 
the structure of what you did. So, if, for instance, yeah. what, what I would say is if somebody wants to blow up, not a, I would try to do it before 35 for simple reasons of physics. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, you ain't going to be able to do the moves you used to do at 20 at 35. Yeah. So you could dance, generally dance better at 20. But this is what I would do. Oh, yeah, I would yeah. take a genre of music that is somehow blowing up and new. I found a new genre, too. That's cool. But you know I what I'm saying, I though. I think I did. It's not find new, a new genre not, of music that of, has yeah. new people searching for it. Yeah. Find a different way to do an old style of dance. I don't care if you're doing house music dance. If you could do it to a different genre of music and make it seem like it fits that music, yeah, you will blow up. So all you gotta say is, all you're saying is, you just gotta be creative, exactly, and innovative. You do, but that and that's still not. Here's the thing about art: is it's no definite. You can do that and be the best, and, and still, still not, not blow up. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. Like it's hard to do. But it's still possible, is what I'm saying. Well, well yeah, yeah, possible. yeah, it's possible. But you That's don't want to live saying. life on what's possible. You want to yes, live life do. on what's probable. You know it's possible that you could go outside and do a backflip and a meteorite can come from <laughs> outer space and hit you right in the eye as a, as as soon as you do yeah. the, the article. It's possible article. to win the lottery. Right. But are you going to do that? <sighs> and would you recommend that everybody go out and do a backflip and try to do that? It would be silly to recommend it, right? Yeah, but see... There's that one person that it could happen to, and maybe I'm talking to that one person right now. Yeah, but the thing is, yeah, you could be talking to that one person, but how many other people are you finna influence to go chase it? And yeah, they gonna it and they could be living with that one mom. person gets to go, but the rest of everybody like. No, I'm saying like okay, okay. So with that being said, I understand what you're saying. Just like you were saying, do it the right way. Make sure you have a regular nine to five that can support you right. chasing this dream. That would be the right approach. Don't just right. do what I did and quit everything. And put all your eggs in this basket. Because I'm not going to take it off 1%. the topic, but y'all know, like y'all watch my other videos on my other channel. I talk about biblical masculinity, right? Yeah. So one of the big things that I try to tell men is be responsible. Yeah. And the thing that I see with a lot of dance and a younger crowd is they want to do what's fun without doing anything hard. This is why they don't, they skip foundation yep. and all this other stuff. It's not so, fun. Yeah, it's not fun to sit <laughs> and practice. Not, it's doing not this fun all day is not fun. Bro. Practice hits all day. That's not fun. But the reality is a lot of them will take what you say and then they'll run with it and think, yeah, I could blow up just like Keith. Well... You can, though. That's my point. You could blow up just like Keith. Is that but a model you, you want to follow, though? Yes, because... like, Okay, so say my audience is watching this, right? Any one of you have the chance to go. And all of you have the chance of not to go. You, you <laughs> get what I'm saying? So if, if that one person hears this and ends up going look at slavic prime example is slavic bro how old is he i don't know maybe 27 26 probably i don't know but he's a lot, a lot younger than us okay but when i met him for the first time and we did that clip together he didn't have no following or nothing mm -hmm. and then five years later boom he blew up so that's what i'm saying as long as you're out here dancing and making the right moves for it it could be anyone it can be anybody. It could be anyone. As long as you're trained and you have the skill and you're talented, it yeah, could it could be what is anyone. What's the definition of blowing up? I think Slavic blew up. Fiction blew up. I'm not I'm not even talking about just the um fiction the um video fiction did on World of Dance. I'm not talking about that. That's another topic I want to talk about too, and then we'll close out with that. But I'm talking about the the carry on. Like you can blow up and have a viral video and then fall off the map. That's true. There are certain things you have to do after you have that viral video. You got to have a machine behind you. Shout out to Excel who carried my career for the, like to where it is today. So if you don't have that machine behind you, it's going to be impossible. So but I'm mainly talking about the longevity of your career. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I don't want to discourage people. Like I'm not saying don't don't chase your dreams no matter what age you are. What I'm saying is approach every problem realistically. And then also work hard so that you can achieve your dream, no matter what that is. So if you got to work a nine to five job, don't look at it as, I just got to work a nine to five. I don't want to work. You, you Sometimes you have to. For yeah. me, I'm yeah. like when I'm producing my comic book, I come home from a very stressful job and work on my comic book. Yep. Because that's my real dream to get that out. Yeah. And I think Did you bring me a copy? No, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't want to, want it to get crunched on the way over here because I didn't have any way to transport it correctly. Oh, okay. But I can mail it to you. No, definitely. I want, I want yeah. Wags Warrior of Truth. Well, yeah, right? Wags the Warrior of Truth. Yeah. 
So um, what I'm saying is on that. Is that'll that, be in the description, by the way, if you all want to uh, support the comic book. I appreciate book. that, man. No doubt. But no doubt. one of the things I'm saying is that it takes hard work to pursue your dreams. Mm. Oftentimes, people think you can just pursue your dreams outright. Sometimes you got to work. You've had plenty of jobs over the years, man, where you had to work to yeah. fund what you really wanted to do. Yeah. And I think the younger generation, oftentimes they hear, hey, mom and dad, I quit my job. I'm going to dance. <laughs> They're like, what? It's yeah, but then again, my, my perspective on it would be to to succeed at anything, you got to you gotta beat the competition, right? Yeah. You have to. You got to be. Nope. No, you don't. Yes, you do. I don't think so. You have to. You be, got to be better than yeah, majority of them. Yeah, you got to be them. at the top. No, not of today. What you, majority. Not today, bro, look at the industry. Are y'all no, serious? Yeah, but that? everybody that's making it are the top at whatever they're doing. No, they're not. Give me an example. They have the top. They look. Give me an example. Who, I don't want to name who, names who's either. Who's making it and they're not at the top? You gotta think about what yo, I'm saying. Yo, you gonna diss somebody? No, now. the top. Yeah, that, that, that the would top make me of what they're doing. No. Key thing is what they're doing. Not, I'm not just saying dance. I'm saying oh, they, they okay. might have found, I'll put it this way. They okay. might have found this, a niche this is where I give what him. they're yeah, doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is where I saying. give him, but he's you're wrong in one area. You're talking there's about a lot of cutesy it. girls that either touch or, or glide and do all types of stuff on TikTok and they get views because they're cute. But, but them being cute is still being at the top of their that's game. That's what I'm saying. Of what they're doing. That's yes. what I mean. Yeah. Of what they're doing. Not necessarily so you gotta have yeah. something. Okay. You can't be no mean. ugly girl and do like, that. You have to find a little window and be the best at that window. If, that you're, if you're a swamp donkey talking, nobody gonna care. But if he the best swamp donkey <laughs> If your brand is swamp donkey. As long donkey. as you the best at what you're doing. <laughs> No, if you a girl and you cute, you automatically gonna get more views than everybody else. That's just the way of the world. You better yeah. try to be the ugliest dude, Tun. <laughs> and can't nobody beat me in that. You get okay, last thing uh, I wanna, this has been a great conversation. Last thing I wanna close out with that I think is very important if you're trying to make a career out of dance, and I'm gonna leave you guys with this. Um, make sure that you have control of your audience. Like, if you go viral on somebody else's platform, it does not help you. It only helps them. So make sure, like, say, for example, if you're on somebody else's platform and you go viral, make sure you draw all that traffic back to somewhere that you can monetize because that is only going to help them so at the end of the day you want to build your network not somebody else's you can that can help you out of course along the way to do that but make sure once that happens you capitalize on it and build your own network that's, that's the last thing i want to touch on anything y'all want to comment on that at all no i agree with that all right well that has been the sit down i am non-stop Destroy. Destroy. No, I was supposed to say it. I'm you Droid. forgot his name. <laughs> Y'all remember what it is. <laughs> Y'all know who I am. Y'all already know who it is. And we got Jack, Jack Bravo. Bravo. All right, we'll see you guys next time. Love, peace. <laughs> I am. I am. You know, I don't be doing interviews. Yep.